Hey everybody, Terry O here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're talking rock and roll rhythm guitar, Chuck Berry, Keith Richards, Black Rose Faces. Stay tuned. <laughs> I love playing rock and roll rhythm guitar. I thought I'd show you a couple of moves today. That was a little, my interpretation of a little faux uh, Keith Richards, Faces, Black Crows vibe. And um, I know Keith Richards used open tuning, yes, and capo and five strings. I'm not gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna actually teach you a couple of little cheat moves that are kind of neat. Um, first thing I did in this progression it's just very simple it's g to c and there's an occasional b flat in there first thing i did is i tuned down my high e string to d what does that do it kind of emulates and keith richards open tuning so if you play the g and don't you know just let that that high e string ring open get that now, classic Keith Richards move that he wrote 100 songs with, classic songs, is a four over one bass. Watch my slash chord video, what it's four over one. That would be a C over a G. So it's simply this. And what I'm doing is I'm playing half of that C chord, first finger, um, second string, first fret, open G. And then my middle finger is playing that uh, fourth string, second fret. So you get. And when you get that open string on top, it's nice. Get a nine on top for that C. Now, to use that chord over the four, use that move rather over the four chord, what I did was I played the four chord rather than do this, I played it like this fifth fret, first finger barring fourth third, second string. I mute out the fifth string with the top of my, the pad of my pinky, and I use my pinky to play the eighth fret, sixth string. With that. And you can use that same move over this chord. So that's a cool little move. Um, there's a variation I'll show you in a sec, but that opening lick I did, which was sort of a cop of, you know, honky tonk women thing. All I did was I, I utilized the open G string and I played this kind of drone thing against it. I call it a drone thing. So eighth fret, second string, slide down to the sixth fret, to the third, third string. Like Mike Campbell always plays those guitars. You hear a lot of guys in Nashville doing that now, this sort of faux Mike Campbell thing. But that's kind of what that is. Um, a variation on that four over one thing you could do that's kind of cool is instead of this, instead of using my ring finger on the uh, fourth string, seventh fret, you could use your ring finger on the third string, seventh fret. And then you get this. First finger is playing that G, fifth fret, fourth string. It's kind of a sus nine, I guess, add nine. 
So I used all those kind of moves. And then, you know, I said like rock and roll rhythm guitar. Maybe I didn't say it. it kind of all emanates from Chuck Berry, in my opinion, you know. <laughs> So I know we're talking more about the turned into more of the Keith Richards thing. I was going to just talk general rock and roll rhythm guitar, not, you know, heavy metal or hard rock. This is more roots rock. But another move you could do like that, instead of this, you could actually just slide up to the seventh fret. And you get that. It's more of a country... But I use it on this rock and roll rhythm thing, and with an upward chank of my right hand, I get this. Those are a couple moves you could do. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, the classic... Uh, in G, you know, that's, uh, it's just third fret, fourth, third strings. You hear that, uh, you know, check out Faces. I loved uh, the Faces with uh, Rod Stewart and Ron Wood. It's one of my favorite bands. And, of course, Black Crows. I love the Black Crows. I think they got a lot of stuff from Faces and Allman Brothers, obviously. But uh, And, of course, Keith Richards. Uh, he, and, he and Ron Wood made a great team. And um, it's all about, you know, just pocketing everything. And the right hand plays a very important part. Since this has turned into like a Keith Richards themed video, I thought I'd share this little story. You can fast forward if you don't want to hear it. But um, it's kind of funny. I um, had the opportunity a few times to almost meet Keith. I finally did after. But the first story is funny. One of the stories. I was playing with Aaron Neville at the Ryman in Nashville. And Aaron and I were in an elevator. And there was a guy. There were a couple people in the elevator when they, when the people got off there was the one guy left and he sunglasses he looked like he was in the music business and he goes Aaron I'm uh, Keith's assistant and I know Keith would love to see you and he's staying down the hall and why don't you guys come over and I'm just flying the wall going yeah man we're gonna I'm gonna meet Keith Richards you know and Aaron goes uh man you know Tiger's about to play and um you know I'm gonna watch the game but tell Keith hi you know tell him hello what's up and I'm thinking you gotta be kidding me so uh, we we went our way and he went his way and I could hear Keith down the hallway like the music blare and I was that was near miss number one, miss number one. But finally, you know, I don't remember when this was. Sometime after Hurricane Katrina, there was a maybe it was before. There was a concert called Make It Funky. It was it's a documentary. You can get it. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but I was part of it. It was all about New Orleans music and Keith came down to play. You know, but nobody really knew this. So Ivan Neville. Uh, totally set this up he um he was with the with keith richards he played in the expensive winos in that band and on those records so ivan was friends with keith and so he he didn't tell me about it but he set it up and so there were these campers parked outside where we were filming and i would go shane come here man come here and i work my way through the crowd and i walk up to this camper and i go up the stairs and i close the door and i look up and there's somebody sitting at the steering wheel and he's looking at me, he goes, hey, Shane, where do you want to go, mate? Fucking anywhere, man. How you doing? Nice to meet you. And it was Keith Richards. <laughs> That's how I met Keith because of Ivan. And for a minute, it was just me and Keith like in this camper and he actually made a drink for me and we sat around talking for maybe five, 10 minutes. And then um, Art Neville, uh, Earl Palmer, the famous New Orleans drummer. There were a couple other notable New Orleans old timers that were still around at that point. They came on. And it was interesting to see Keith, man. He was like, he treated these guys like they were deities. Like he, oh, no, 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 sit down. No, 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 sit down. He was just such a gentleman. And um, only time I got to be around him, but, you know, legendary rock star. And uh, that was a cool moment. So anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I appreciate you guys helping me build the channel. Give me a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you next time. Terry O out.